Hi everybody, my name is Dennis and welcome back to another album review. Today we're reviewing the latest record from Maxo entitled Little Big Man. Now I'd never heard of Maxo prior to this album, but I'd heard a lot of good things and I was willing to give it a try. And I'm really happy that I did. Maxo puts forth a really great effort. He has some amazing flows, some really chill, um, almost throwback style beats, and he's a really great lyricist on pretty much every single song. For example, the song Time, I really enjoyed its very heavy production as far as the drums and the pianos go, and it really blends together for something that's smooth and beautiful, while still being um, at a proper level to where it's not distracting from Maxo himself. I really like the lyrical themes of him looking forward to his time in the spotlight, where people may be laughing at him now, they may be mocking what he's doing at the moment, but... Just wait for his time to come, because when he does, he's going to enjoy it. And he goes on through this song to reflect on a lot of the hardships he's faced, which makes him feel more real as a person. Because it can be hard to differentiate the musician from the person they are in real life at times, but he does a really good job of really fleshing himself out as a person to the listener, and it becomes a really enjoyable experience. Um, this moves on into the song Strong Side, which again had a really great um, drum percussion sound to it. And I really liked the guitars that were brought into it, as well as the really enchanting background vocals throughout the song. Um, I really liked how this song covered the theme of him, excuse me, of him not having a strong side and wishing that he had a thicker skin and looking at the man in the mirror and thinking if that person's still going to be there in the future. And he's wondering if he can have a thicker skin, if he can become a more strong person and be able to stand up for himself and others, even when his heart tells him that he doesn't want to, which I think is a really good reflective track. And even though he doesn't necessarily decide to go one way or another with his life, it's a really good, interesting piece on just his own thoughts and his own feelings and his own emotions that I think is really well done. I also really enjoyed the song Kinfolk, where he reflects on the people who are close to him, where he thinks about the people that he considers his kin and whether they really deserve to be, because he thinks of some of them as being more negative, as being more toxic in his life at times. And I also really loved the um, very percussion-heavy beat that goes through this, as well as the more soft um, hook that complements this song. It made it a really enjoyable track for me. The song No Love was also um, pretty good lyrically, and Maxo, just like many of the other songs on this album, has a really great, great flow on here. And this song is more going for it than it does against it. But there's something about the beat that just doesn't sit right with me. I do think it has a nice sound to it overall, but I do find some of the background vocals going please, please, please can get grating at times, and it can make it uh, difficult to sit through the entire thing happily. Again, I don't think this is a horrible thing, but especially when it's just surrounded by so many great songs, it does make it stick out a little bit in a not-so-good way. Again, I think the song is more going forth than it does against it, but it just doesn't strike the best chord with me. Um, just sonically. The song In My Pennies, though, is absolutely phenomenal. I really enjoyed this track. It was definitely one of my favorites off of the album. And here he talks about a lot of the poverty he faced and a lot of the struggles that he had, where it was just going paycheck to paycheck, trying to just put food on the table. And I really like the title In My Pennies because it just... um brings forward that idea of him being so deep in poverty that he has to dig through pennies just to try and afford something. And I think it's a really well-written track. I think it's a really beautiful sounding track. I love the very smooth, very welcoming, very warm beat that goes with it, as well as the very emotional performance, lyricism, and vocals that Maxo brings to the table. It's really a beautifully put together song that I think shows how Maxo is a truly amazing artist in multiple ways. Um, I also enjoyed the song Headphones, which 
um, reflects more on his youth and more of the positive things in his youth, just thinking about what led him to be the man he is today. And unlike many of the other songs, he doesn't reflect on the struggles he had, but just about his life, where he would just be walking down the street, jamming to his favorite artists and headphones, those kinds of things, just the things that led up to where he is today, what inspired him to do rap, what inspired him to make music, what inspired him to become this little big man. And that ties all back into the title of the album, of course, Little Big Man, where he's still small as far as artist goes, but he knows that he can be something big. He knows that he can be a big person. He wants to be a bigger person, where there are many aspects of him that are still weakened that it can still be strengthened hence the little part of it but he's also very aware of what his emotions are and of his surroundings which really does make him bigger and stronger than so many other people today and i think it has a really great title to the album i think it plays really well into the themes this album uh portrays throughout um, I thought the song Crown Heights was a very unique cut on here, where it has more of a jazzy feel to it, which I thought was great. I loved the um, almost throwback jazz style to it that just makes it a really fun listen through and through. Um, the closing track on the album, Quick Told Me, I didn't care for as much, honestly. I thought the B was definitely very strange and almost a bit experimental to a small extent, but... I don't think it quite fits well with the album. I don't think it's that bad of a song, but oftentimes it I find it contrasting with, again, the very warm, smooth, comforting, chill feels that pretty much every other song gives, which makes Quick Told Me stick out almost like a sore thumb as just being such a heavy contrast from everything else, where it's much more distant, it's much more strange, it's much more abstract. And even though it's nothing completely outlandish or completely um, unlistenable to just a casual music listener, but it's strange enough to where it's definitely noticeable. Um, and even though I liked the words being said in the hook, um, if it don't make dollars, then it don't make sense, I do think it's the vocals on it are a bit awkward and distracting to an extent. And this has, because this wasn't um, Maxo who sang this part. This was one of the features on here. And honestly, both of the features, um, Liv and I believe it's pronounced Pink Sifu, um, I didn't care for either of them too much. Um, the hook was pretty mediocre, and the verse that comes later on from one of them isn't all that great either, in my opinion. I think Maxo does fine, because... He obviously has a lot of skill and he uses it to his ability, but I do think the features are a bit weak here, as well as the beat being a bit distracting. But overall, this is a great album through and through. I think it is beautifully titled, which is um, a praise that I don't always get to give albums. Um, I think that lyrically, he, um, Maxo has a lot to say, and even though he doesn't say anything in too much of an abstract or extravagant or symbolic way, it's very straightforward, but it's very emotional. It, it hits really hard, and I think that's what matters. It doesn't matter how many symbols you use or how complex your metaphors are. It matters that you have something interesting to say, and you say it well. Can it be something very cryptic and very symbolic? Sure, definitely. There are some really phenomenal songs out there, really phenomenal albums that are very cryptic and hard to decipher. But it's just as fine to have an uh, album of songs like this that are pretty straightforward in what their lyrics are trying to say, but they should be straightforward so that everyone can understand what he's saying. Because a lot of what he's saying can apply to many people of having a proper view of money, appreciating the people that raised you, appreciating your youth, reflecting on the things that make you, you, and how you can improve yourself. And these are many things that I would encourage everyone to do, even myself to an extent, because I think we all struggle with these things from time to time. But it's good that Maxo is encouraging 
the people who are listening to do this. And I think it's good that he kept it in more simple, straightforward terms so that everyone could appreciate this and not just those who go into in-depth research and try to decipher every single word of the lyrics because it's just not necessary for this. And I'm sure you could, and I'm sure you could get a lot more out of it, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's simple enough to where you can just listen to it and understand and appreciate what he's saying, which I think is great. So, again, I think there is so much going for this album and not a whole lot going against it. I really enjoyed the vast majority of songs on here. Um, There were a couple more weak ones, and I thought that there were two interludes, Lucky and 605, which were fine, but not really all that impressive. But still, phenomenal production, strong lyrics, amazing flow, and a really just good sense of self from Maxo here. I'm feeling a light 8. Definitely be sure to check it out. It's a really great album. And it's one that not a lot of people have gotten their attention towards, but it's one that's worth listening to. So with that being said, be sure to tell me how wrong my opinion is, as always, and I'll see you in the next review.